This is your tech news briefing for Wednesday, March 1st. I'm Zoe Thomas for The Wall Street Journal. Electric vehicles offer a lot of promise for a greener future. But a combination of vast computing power and numerous online connections also make EVs a target for cyber attacks, according to some experts. Bart Ziegler wrote about this for the WSJ's Journal Reports and joins us now to explain the risks and possible solutions. Hi, Bart. Thanks for being here. You're welcome. So many listeners will know that modern cars, whether they're gas-powered or electric-powered, have a lot of computer chips in them. So why is it that cybersecurity experts are particularly worried about EVs being hacked? Well, you're right. Modern cars do have chips in them, but electric vehicles have vastly more. One analyst told me that a high-end standard internal combustion luxury car might have 150 or so, what they call electronic control units. An EV could have 3,000 in it basically because everything in an EV is electronic. So what's the nightmare scenario here? I mean, if a hacker does get into my car, does that mean they're going to, I don't know, drive me off a cliff or into a lake? Well, I think there's a whole gradation of what could happen. They could try, similar to what they do with computer networks, to lock people out, basically a ransomware attack where they could force people to send them money to be able to start their car again. There could be worse scenarios where they might do damage to your car if they take over the charging system. An electric car, that the actual charging, drawing the, the power into the batteries is controlled by software and chips. Uh, the transmission of that power from the batteries to the electric motors is controlled by chips. Even the, what they call regenerative braking, where you actually are recharging the battery when you brake an electric car, that's all software and chips. So if they get into that, they could damage it, or the worst scenario I've heard is they could actually cause your batteries to overcharge and potentially heat up at night, which could, of course, be a horrible situation. They also could do things to control possibly the steering or braking or acceleration, since those are all controlled by computers. There was one scenario uh, in 2015 where computer researchers, security researchers, broke into a non-electric car through its internet connection, its cellular connection, and cause it to drive erratically and even to drive into a ditch. That was a test. There was no one hurt, but it showed the danger of all these connections that modern cars have. So a lot of potentially very scary scenarios there. How would hackers possibly gain access to a car? Well, that's the other aspect of electric vehicles that differs from today's standard internal combustion vehicles. There are many more communication pathways. Electric cars typically communicate back and forth with the car company that made them, with sometimes with a dealership. And when you plug it in, which many people will be doing daily, it's connecting with the supplier of the charging station and sometimes with the electric utility behind it. And even a lot of the chargers, especially the public ones, have cellular or other internet connections. So there are lots of pathways that experts say hackers could try to, to break into. It sounds like charging stations or charging points are the real pain point here, potentially. Can you explain a little bit more about how they could play a role? I mean, might this have a knock-on effect if one hacked car is plugged into a charging station? Could it mean that other cars that get plugged in have a similar issue? That's one of the potential risks. If hackers manage to infect one car with a certain type of software that could then be transmitted to the charger itself when that car owner plugs in. And from the charger, if it could propagate itself the entire charging network through the computers that run these central charging, public charging stations, that's possible. That would be sort of a different way to get into the entire system of a larger number of electric cars. But the other thing that we got to think about is car makers tend to send electronic updates to their electric vehicles. And that's done wirelessly. And the fear there from cybersecurity researchers is if hackers were to get into that somehow, they could distribute dangerous software to hundreds, thousands, maybe millions of electric vehicles. You mentioned one test by cybersecurity experts to prove that this could happen in a non-EV car. Have we seen any attacks so far on EVs? Well, that's the upside. We've not, aside from you know minor glitches and things. But that doesn't mean it couldn't happen. I think the concern here is the state of cyber awareness and cyber security protocols in both the electric vehicle industry and the charging industry are fairly weak. Cybersecurity experts told me we're sort of at a very early phase of that becoming uh, an issue and a concern that 
so much of what this young industry has been doing is just trying to get the products out the door and hasn't given enough thought, they say, towards the cybersecurity controls that need to be added to them. Is the government or any regulators thinking about this? Uh, Yes, certainly the government has been. In October, the Biden White House gathered a group of executives from the various pieces of the electric vehicle industry to the White House to talk about the need for greater security. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration released new guidelines uh, last year. One of them said you should not have sort of the crucial pieces of a car, the acceleration, the braking, the steering, they should not be connected to anything wireless. So there is thought going into it. There's been a bit of talk in Congress, but there haven't been a lot of new laws that would mandate these controls. Okay, so if I'm an electric vehicle owner listening to this conversation, are there things that I can do to to keep myself safe? You just should be aware that like all things that contain computer chips and are connected to the internet, Hacking is a possibility, and I would think that if your car were ever to act erratically, you should immediately stop and get someone to look at it and not assume it's just some small glitch. Bart Ziegler, thank you so much for joining us for this conversation. You're welcome. And that's it for today's Tech News Briefing. For more tech stories, check out our website, wsj.com. I'm Zoe Thomas for The Wall Street Journal. Thanks for listening.